What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so we're here in Eterna City, and uh, yeah, there's a few people with bold blue hairs, and uh, we're going into this house right here because this place is a little important because I guess this guy right here will actually give you the underground. What was it? Uh, utensils or underground game utensils? Yes, this guy right here. Yes, the underground man, he will actually give you uh, the explorer kit. That's what it is. The explorer kit that will actually get you to go underground and you'll be able to actually get yourself, you know, fossils and whatnot. Of course, right now, he's asking you to take the challenge, which we will be doing a little bit later on in our adventure. Right now, we're going to just be exploring Eternal City. But yes, this is actually the place where you can actually get the, uh, the explorer kit, which, again, like I said, You'll be able to find some fossils right around here. I believe certain fossils vary from game to game, I believe. I think in Pokemon Platinum, you can actually find two. two the two main fossils right here. Now, if you talk to this guy, this guy's talking to me, to me about, like, Team Galactic's building that's in the area right there. And, uh, well, I'm just going to be going around right here. Now, if you go right here, the uh, name rating services is in this area right here. So, if you guys have any issues with your nicknames or whatnot, you can talk to this guy, and he'll actually change the nickname for you. Now, remember, traded Pokemon cannot be uh, cannot be uh, well switched. Their nicknames cannot be switched. Talk to this guy. You switch him a Buisel for a Chata or a Chata for a Buisel. That's a good thing. And then this guy right here is the the well the building superintendent. And, uh, well, let's see. She's talking to me about Gardena, the, uh, the Eterna City Gym Leader, which is here. And, uh, this person right here talking about Recycle. And this lady is giving me a TM, right? Give me a TM, lady! Yes, we get ourselves a TM67, which is... I don't know. I don't know. TM67. Let me... I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna Google that right now while I'm, like, BSing right here for you guys. TM67 Pokemon Platinum. So we're gonna go to the Bulbapedia. 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 And uh, this guy right here is talking about flags and stuff. And uh, you can't catch me. I set some traps. Of course, this person's talking about the. Uh, talking about what you would call it. The, uh, the games that you can actually play on the, with the Explorer Kit. So be aware of that. Traps and all that stuff, not good. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm still trying to get myself connected. What the hell happened here? Okay. Press that. Uh, TM67. Alrighty. And I'm just walking around. There's a lot of things that you can actually find here, like the bike shop. Uh, you go right here. Yep. This guy right here. This freaking guy. I. Oh, God. Well, he takes us over to, uh, yeah, he takes us over to the, uh, to this statue right here. And, of course, it's the statue of the legendary Pokemon, I think, Dialga? Or Palkia. Dialga, yes. And the same guy that we saw over at the lake front is right here, and he's just telling us to stand aside. He's looking over the, he's looking over the statue, because it, it has a, I guess it has a, a real meaning to it. And this guy's like, oh, hey, smack together in, uh, inspiration to myself, yada, 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 easy way to come to a trainer. Hey, listen close. Make sure all your attacks avoid uh, enemy attacks. If you do that, you never lose. You'd be an invincible trainer like me. So, he runs away. That guy bugs the crap out of me. So, as you can see, Somebody has to uh, took off the descriptive plate of this whole, uh, of, of the statue right here. And I believe this is where you're introduced to part of the, part of the legends. Part of the legends that goes on right here in, uh, in Pokemon Platinum. Now, you talk to this guy, he's talking to you about the legendary Pokemon. Um, somebody here is talking about, oh yes, what is said on the statue, the centerpiece of many fab... Uh, festivities and this guy right here is like what's the world coming to someone ripped off the descriptive plate of the Pokemon statue and uh, you want to know what it said yes the description says something sort of like this creation of Dialga giver of time and laughter there is tears and likewise the same flows for Dialga and yeah, he keeps on forgetting the the other inscriptions right here and uh, birth of Palkia creator of parallel dimensions alive yet not alive drifts in space to arrive to the same universe, yada yada yada. Okay, so he's talking about both legendary Pokemon of of Pokemon Platinum and Diamond, and uh, or and Pearl, and uh, we have to find out 
you know, later on what this whole thing means. Now, this is the, uh, let's see, if we go right here to Route 211, you can actually find some Pokemon trainers, which we will be doing, guys. I'm not going to let you guys out there, uh, you know, I'm not going to just do a small tour of Pokemon Platinum. Uh, Eternus uh, City. I'm just gonna be battling everybody and right here you can actually find a great ball which is very very good. You can train your Pokemon right here too and you can be surprised by this little bastard right here. Yeah, that little bastard. Now back to TM67 it happens to be Recycle. Out of all things, duh. Recycle. So, I don't know what it does. Comment down below. I'm gonna be battling right here. So as you can see uh, daylight's upon us right there, so we're gonna be beating the crud out of this Zubat with our bite attack with Donatello right there. Oh yes, the powerful Donatello with his strong jaws of of uh, of, uh, of justice. Growing to level 23 because it didn't battle all those Magikarps before, and he's coming out with another Zubat. So let's go right ahead and do this thing right here. This little thing called battling everybody else. So Zubat's coming out. I'm about to do this. I'm gonna switch it to Starblade. And, uh, well, Starblade's ready to kick some ass right here. But this guy right here, this guy, this guy, Zubat. Zubat uses his Astonish attack. So what I'm gonna be doing right here is I'm gonna be going with the Wing Attack. Hopefully, for the win. And yes, it was for the win. Could have used Zubat, you know, Toxic Batman, but uh, I kind of feel like uh, I kind of feel like getting uh, getting Starblade better, you know, because it actually learns a little bit more better attacks than uh, than uh, Toxic Batman or Zubat for for that instance. Now this guy's coming out with another Zubat, so I guess I'm gonna go back to Donatello. Yeah, let's go with Donatello because he's cool, he's awesome, he's cool, calm, collected. That guy. That's right. Alrighty, so Zubat. Oh wait, nope, that's Hydra number four because we still need a we still need to train this guy. Jesus Criminy and Tits. There we go. And there's that astonish attack. Oh you gotta love that astonish attack. And here we go. Bite attack. Another one for the win. How about that? How about that? That's right, how about that? And uh well, Hydra number 5 or 4 grows to level 15 and finally learns its first attack and attack, which is, uh, tackle attack. Yeah. Alrighty. So let's move on right here. And, uh, there are more trainers right around here, and we are about to hit uh, Mount Coronet. But in this episode, we're gonna be battling everybody right here, because I remember the last time I played Pokemon Platinum when I was Draven XC711, I never got to this area right here. For some reason, I never showcased it or battled anybody here, so I'm making it a point to actually battle ever battle everybody right here, so nobody stays missing, you know that kind of stuff. And uh, well, that's another victory for us right there. Oh yeah, how about that? How about that? Donatello gross again, and he's coming out with an Onyx, so I'm going to continue it on right here. Going to continue it on right here. Going with uh, Hydra number five because it can. And uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, not tackle this Pokemon because it's not strong enough at all. And uh, alrighty, so Donatello is about to take a hit. Not much of a hit, but you know, something. And alrighty, okay. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Razor Leaf for the win. Oh, yes. How about that? Bye bye. No more Onyx, but we get the experience points. I'm kicking everybody's ass. Not Hydra number four. That's funny. That is funny. Okay, so that's another one defeated, and, uh,. Luckily, we do have that Rock Smash attack, and we do have a Bidoof in our team, so it learns everything. And we're just going to be going down here, battling this person, and I believe there's an item there waiting for us, too. So let's go ahead and battle this person right now. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's do this. Let's do this for the bitches. Yeah. 
There we go. Get it, get it. Here we go. Endeavor attack. Will it do it for the win? I don't know. I don't freaking know. But here we go. Bite attack. Onto the birdie Pokemon right here. Oh, yes. And that's how you do that. Gains uh, 204 experience points. And they're coming out with, uh, whatchamacallit. They are coming out with another Pokemon. Completely forgot to read it. And... Well, let's see. Hoot Hoot. Going up against my Hydra number four. I think I had a Hoot Hoot back in the day, too. Yes, I did. I had that. But it all changed. Okay, so here we go. Starblade. Bring it. Just bring it. Starblade versus the Hoot Hoot. Who will win in this episode of Dragon Ball Z? Gotta love the guy with the raspy voice. They really do. I mean, he makes a living just by having the raspy voice right here on Dragon Ball Z. And, uh, well, there goes Alexandra. I'm feeling great about defeating you that quickly. And uh, there's that item that we've been waiting for, and it is a TM-12 taunt, which could be used uh, to actually capture Abra's because it actually taunts them into attacking, attacking. I just realized that a few days ago. And, uh, well, this is Mount Coronet right here. Well, one part of Mount Coronet. And, uh, what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna go through the areas that I can go through. Because, remember, there's some big boulders right there that you need the strength technique for. And, uh, well, here we have an ice heal, which, you know, it, it, we will be use, uh, yeah, we will be, uh, using a very often, uh, later on in this adventure because there's a lot of snow around here. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it for that area. Hmm. Is there anything else in Eternus City that I need to talk about? Oh, yeah. It's great. It's great. It is very, very great. It's so great. I don't even know. But, yes, we will be going there. And once you get this whole thing taken care of with the, you know, the legendary Pokemon thing, here you have this beauty of a blonde. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Cynthia. She's a trainer just like you, and she ha has curiosity on Pokemon uh, Legends. And, of course, she's trying to study all that stuff. And, uh, well, she's telling me that, you know, this could be useful. She gives us the T or the HM01, which is cut. Very useful item. And, uh, well, she's going to be a part of our lives for the rest of our lives now, guys. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. I'll see you later. That's right. Such a beautiful girl. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there, guys. Um, is there anything else? Oh, yes. You go with this lady. She will give you the friendship checker for the uh, Pokey app, which, you know, is the little clock thing uh, on the side right there. So I'm going to show you right here right now. They're going to be floating around. Once you poke on your Pokemon, you'll see if they love you or not. Right now, obviously, my Pokemon don't love me. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, I'll be right back.